Well, New Brunswickers have made their choice tonight after voting in Canada's very first COVID-era provincial general election. Kayla Hounsell is in Quispemsis, New Brunswick, at PC Party headquarters. And Kayla, Blaine Higgs of the Progressive Conservatives heading back to the legislature as Premier. That's right, and this election has really all been about Blaine Higgs's gamble. His popularity has been soaring due to his handling of the pandemic, and you can be sure the other four minority governments across the country are watching the results of this election tonight. He has managed to win that majority. He says he called this election during the pandemic because he needed the stability of that majority to lead the province through a potential second wave of the pandemic. Now, his opponents have been very critical of that, They've said this is nothing more than a power grab, but New Brunswickers don't really seem to have agreed with that. Liberal leader Kevin Vickers didn't even manage to hold on to his seat, and now he has told CBC News that he plans to step down from the Liberal Party of New Brunswick. He didn't have a seat in the legislature and was going for that for the first time. So, you know, the results of this election itself, not terribly surprising, but so much about this election was pretty different. Joanne Martin has been working elections for 25 years, but this one is different, and so is her job. My job as a PPE constable. She's one of two extra people at every polling station to make sure pandemic restrictions are being met. I welcome you with bonjour, hello, uh, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, please hand sanitize. Uh, if you're not wearing a mask, we provide a mask for you as well. Most said the process was smooth. I, you could see them sanitizing everything. You were told to keep the pen with you and drop it into a used uh, uh, basket. Higgs has been under fire from opposition parties for calling an election during the pandemic. But today, most voters said it was no big deal. A lot of people wait for hours in Walmart. They see no problem there. So five minutes in there, well organized, it was great. Things were challenging for the candidates. Only election signs, no large rallies, and many decided not to knock doors. The advance voter turnout was at a record high. But for some, there's nothing like Election Day. Democracy. It's uh, very important that our voices are heard so um, we can have a say in how the province is run. Adamant voting is a must, even during a pandemic. And Kayla, tonight Higgs addressed the fact that all eyes were on this vote across the country to see if it could be done safely. Yeah, and it seems to have worked pretty well. There was some concern that some of the pandemic restrictions would create in really long lines that uh, would then delay results tonight, but that didn't happen. People followed the rules and the Premier designate thanked New Brunswickers for that. In this election, you, the people of New Brunswick, showed everyone that we are stronger together. You reminded us that we always rise to the occasion. You came out in historic numbers to vote in the advanced polls. You followed the rules. You kept each other safe. Thank you for that. And you heard the premier designate mention there that people came out in those historic numbers in the advance polls. There was a pretty significant campaign to get New Brunswickers to vote early. That seems to have worked. It seems to have helped things run pretty smoothly today, Andrew, in what is now Canada's first election during the pandemic. Okay. Kayla Hounsell, thank you very much.